Hello, this is Bern, and if you've wasted more time than you honestly care to admit with men who are not compatible, on today's video, I'm going to share with you two things. Number one, why this happens, and number two, how to stop it from happening again. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams, attract the kind of man you want as a result of stepping into the most alive, feminine version of you and without the need to play games or manipulate people in any way. Now, I am sure you have had the experience yourself or have had a close friend experience this thing. Spend lots of times with a guy, invest time, energy, effort, families meeting, only to recognize that there's an incompatible thing about the man that you're with that makes it impossible for you to continue being with him or for you to take it to the home run, which is the type of relationship you want, which I'm gonna guess might include marriage, might include children, might include merging of families of some sort, might include specific location where you both want to live, a certain lifestyle. Now, why does this happen? I'm gonna give you a formula for how this happens. And the formula is, I'm gonna write it somewhere here on the screen, CH, which is chemistry, imagine there's strong chemistry, times TS, TS is time spent with a man. So you have high chemistry, high number of hours you spend with that guy. Guess what happens? You get attached. Now imagine that you remove from that strong attachment CV. CV is clarity of vision. So you spend lots of times with a man that you have a lot of chemistry with and there is no clear vision of where he's going or there's an incompatible vision for where both of your lives are going, but there's not really a long discussion around it. The result of that is time wasted. It's heartbreak, it's pain, it's uh, wanting to pull your hair out because you gave some of the best years of your life to someone who all along was not going to be able to step into the kind of life that you envision for yourself. Problem is that you, when you connect with someone, specifically a man, and you feel strong chemistry, you start feeling the void with a projection of the future. When you project the future, because it, it benefits you to project the future, if you project that this guy is awesome, even though he appears to be awesome, then the thing to do is continue connecting with him. If the guy doesn't necessarily want what you want, but you feel he might come around to it, then well, of course you can continue spending time with him because he'll eventually come around and he'll want to end his bachelor days and take responsibility for his life and commit to something that requires more selflessness, right? But what if it doesn't happen? Or what if you don't even have that conversation to begin with? What if you connect with a man, feel the strength of connection, chemistry, electricity, and out of fear, that the man will not stick around, you fail to ask the relevant questions that would have led you to understand the clarity of what this guy wants and giving you two choices, either move forward or step out and retreat and connect with someone who has a clear idea of what he wants or a clear vision of his life that aligns more closely to yours. There's a myth going out that says something like this. If you ask guys deep, relevant personal questions about what he's looking for in life, he'll run away. And the reason why it's a myth is because if you ask the right way, meaning if you ask without the attachment of, do you want to have my children? Do you want to marry me? That would be a personal creepy thing to ask on a first date. But if you ask questions that are more open, if you ask questions that have to do with his vision of the future, what he wants, what he envisions for himself, what he thinks about marriage, what he thinks about children, what he thinks about that type of responsibility, what he thinks about that level of intimacy, and he's unwilling to answer those questions, then that would be a red flag for you, for you to run away, right? Or if the guy gets pressured and he runs away because you asked him questions in a non-threatening way that should be easily accessible to anyone who's given two cents of thought to the idea of being with someone long-term, if he doesn't come up with a real answer regarding that, then, and he runs away because of that, then that is precisely and exactly what you want. You want for a guy who doesn't want what you want to run away and not waste your time, to run away and not create that level 
of intensity with you and attachment with you and feelings of falling in love with you if he knows in the end he's going to break your heart because what he wants is different from what you want. So the answer, the antidote to stop wasting time with incompatible men is a couple of things. The first one is having the courage to ask questions in a way that is not specifically about you, but allows him to express what he wants, his vision for the future. The second one, you allow the time that you spend with him tell you if that's really true. Why? Because a vision of a future leaves clues. If a man wants to get married a year from now, in theory, then there's things he's doing right now to make that happen. If a man wants a family, then there's a way he handles his life, his finances, his connections, his relationship to the world and to other women, right? In a way that makes that a real possibility. So when you have clarity of vision and you have time spent with that person, you have a higher likelihood of discovering if the future that he has is compatible with yours and if this is sustainable long term. Because what happens is you connect, you get attached, and then you find out a year and a half later, you know what? He doesn't want children, that's super important to you, or he wants children and you don't. Those things need to be talked about very early on in such a way, and then revisit it throughout the time you spend dating him, but early on in such a way that there, if the vision of life is different, that you don't do the thing most women do, which is think, well, it doesn't matter because he'll come around or it's not going to be as important to me in the future. If it is important to you right now, do yourself a favor and move on. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful you in some way. If it is, I'm asking you right now to please do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. And if you have, click on the little bell so that you can make sure to be notified of new episodes when they come out. Number three, on the first link on the description of this video, you'll find a way to click on that link, enter in an email, and you'll be taken to a free masterclass that I've created that takes you deeper on these topics as to how you can step into the kind of relationship you want with a lot less pain. Now, here's the biggest ask of all. If you're listening to me right now and you recognize that you've heard the videos, you've read the books, you've attempted to do this time and time and time again, and you're not getting what you want, or you might be getting what you want five years later than you really want to, then if you want hand holding and help, we might be a fit to work together. The second link on the description of this video will have a way for you to submit an application for us to connect. And if we're a fit to work together, have me help you create the relationship you want. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.